Good afternoon, Blue Earth. It's Pastor Lorfeld coming to you. Uh, just I wanted to come to you with a couple of things. Um, sometimes when I get done with a sermon, or um, when I, in this case, uh, watch my own sermon, which is something I don't get to do that often, but um, I have been the last few weeks, um, I, I, I come away thinking, I missed something. Uh, and it's really something that's very important. Um, my confirmation students know this, that I tell them uh, that each and every sermon should, should lead us to the cross. Basically, if Jesus didn't have to die for what was preached, it wasn't a Christian sermon. Um, and this isn't to say that what, what you heard on, on Sunday wasn't a Christian sermon, but it was missing, it was missing that, that key uh, important thing. Um, and that, that is Christ and him crucified. So I wanted to connect um, kind of the main focus to the cross, okay? Uh, and I'm going to do it really shortly, really briefly. And then other, one other correction from uh, the, the, the sermon as well. Uh, that's just a uh, Bible reference uh, correction. So if you're looking up and trying to figure out where in the world I was, um, I just misspoke. Um, but uh, I'll... I'll, I'll get to that in just a bit. So uh, here's the connection. The, the main point of the sermon was, is that, was that Jesus comes to us in his word. Now, he comes to us indeed differently um, in the Lord's Supper, but he does indeed truly come to us in his word. And so he comes to us um, as, as our loving Savior um, on that simple means of the word. And, and that needs to be sufficient. But but the thing that I, I, I kind of forgot to bring in is the, the why. Why why is Christ's word sufficient? Now, it should be pretty obvious. Well, Jesus is God. Well, yes. Uh, but ultimately, the reason why, the reason why I can trust Jesus in his word comes down to this. Christ was crucified and Christ was risen, is risen from the dead, just as he said, just as he promised over and over and over, Jesus foretold that he would be crucified and on the third day rise again. Really, when it comes down to it, that's why we can take Jesus at his word. So uh, I hope you'll accept this little addendum to the sermon. Um, it, 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 it isn't a side thing. It, it's really the heart and center of why can we trust Jesus at his word? Because he's crucified and risen just as he said. Um, and, and thus he fulfilled everything that was set out for the Messiah to do. Uh, the second uh, little addendum is when I, I, I noticed I, I paused a lot longer than I uh, wanted to because I was flipping through my Bible, I lost my little marker that I had. Um, and I was looking for a passage in Romans chapter 10, specifically Romans 10, 17. And I started a few verses earlier. Romans 10, 17 is one of those really big, important verses. It's this, uh, faith comes by hearing, in hearing the word of Christ. Um, so that, that's, that was the reference. I accidentally said 1 Corinthians. I don't know why, um, but you know, that happens. Um, so you can't really, uh, um, sometimes you, you just can't account for those little slips of the tongue. But uh, I did want to make sure that I got that little correction in. So if you wanted to look that up, Romans chapter 10, uh, verse 17 is the central verse. But if you want to back up a few verses, uh, that's really important too. Um, that gives you that progression from um, those who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. And how can they call on them if they've not heard? How can they hear if no one's preached to them? Um, Therefore, uh, we, we, the Lord sends out his preachers to proclaim the word so that all may hear of that saving gospel that we are saved by Christ's his death and resurrection. Um, so I wanted to, that to, to come to you today. I hope it finds you well. I hope you are doing well. Uh, you are all in my prayers. Um, we're going to get through this. We're going to at the end um when, when we're back to whatever is normal in the future we're going to get together we're going to have a wonderful celebration um not that we're not going to have a wonderful celebration this weekend with easter but it'll be all the more uh joyous as we gather together um 
celebrating the resurrection of Christ and the fellowship that we have. I look forward to seeing you all in person very soon. The Lord bless and keep you. Amen.